Hi everyone, my name is Chabelli. I'm a board certified anesthesiologist assistant and in this video I'm going to be covering things I felt made me successful during school and things I would change if I were to be in school again. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. And before I get into the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm and that you subscribe and stay tuned for more. But now let's get into what this video is all about, which is how I went through a school. And I'm specifically going to be focusing on the didactic portion of AA school. So AA school has two portions. One of them is more so studying and testing and the other portion is more so being in the hospital and working with the providers that provide anesthesia and learning how to become one in the hospital setting. So in the future I'll, I'll be covering more about that kind of video but I'll be focusing right now on the first half of AA school which is what you need to get to the second half. So the number one thing that I would do again and that I think was something I did right when I was in school was flashcards. I liked flashcards because it was a way to test myself before I took a graded test in class. I used a flashcard app called Anki that I recommend. Anki can be downloaded for free onto a computer. Anki is similar to Quizlet, but it is known for having a really great space repetition algorithm. Space repetition was really great for my memorization. It went like this. I learned something for the first time and then I would forget it. Then I relearned it and then I forgot some of it, but I remembered more than before. I did this over and over and over time it got stored in my long-term memory. This was really helpful for all the midterms and finals that I would take. Anki is a really great system where it takes note of my answers. So Anki, when I look at a flashcard, I think of the answer, I see the answer, and then I can choose, you know, if it was an easy card, if it was a hard card, if it was like a medium card. So the easy cards that I get right, they're not going to show me that card as frequently. But the hard cards, they're going to show it to me more frequently so that it becomes more ingrained in my memory. And not only that, it also has a system over a couple of days where it will show you cards so that it can then become more long-term memory because I forget the card, I see the card, I remember the card, and I keep doing that. And then eventually, basically, my brain figures that this is important information for me to know, and it will store that memory for me in a more long-term way. So I really liked Anki for this. 100% I would do it again. And I feel like it was really, really helpful for me to do well in my midterms. And another thing to note is that by the time it came to my finals, most of the time I was done studying. I didn't want to study anymore as much as I wanted to. I really just, I didn't want to touch anything by that point. I was just done touching a laptop because of how hard I was going during the semester. But I feel like because I was using the Anki system, the flashcard system, I still retained a lot of what I had learned during the semester and I did well enough on my finals. So my midterms, I was super strong. That's always how I've been. But by the time the finals come around, I was starting to slow down. And for a number of ways that I want to get into and, and you know, things that I could change. But by the end of the semester, I feel like I would slow down on my study hours and it was good that I had this flashcard and Anki system to kind of reinforce some of those concepts so I didn't have to study as much in a sense. So I would repeat that process 100% Anki again, flashcards again. But I would change something about how I went about it. However, this is kind of the basics overview on how I did my flashcards. In some classes I had to make them myself and it was very time consuming. But for my year, I was in a school that was already established. So there were people before me that had already done flashcards for AA school. So there were quizlets that existed and had a lot of information on them, flashcards that were already made essentially for AA school and the classes that I was taking. So I took a lot of those quizlets and I input them into Anki and I made my own flashcards based off that. For some of my classes, I made my own flashcards from scratch. For over 50% of my classes or so, Someone had already made flashcards on Quizlet in a previous year. So Anki is able to convert Quizlet flashcards to Anki very quickly by downloading an extra feature. But I had an old outdated computer that wasn't able to do that. So I was putting in pre-existing flashcards one by one. It was helpful to see the pre-existing card, but converting it into Anki took a lot of time. What's nice is if you want to work on Quizlet, you can keep it as a Quizlet form, but if you want to convert it to Anki, you can easily do that with this extension. However, I had such an old laptop that I couldn't even do that. As I was physically putting these flashcards into Anki. It was very time consuming. And so that's something I would change. I would probably look into maybe a more new laptop to save time on converting the Quizlets into Anki if I were to do this all over again. 
However, I still really think it was a great thing to do overall to use Anki and I wouldn't change that at all. I hope that that's answered the way that I studied and I feel like some of it is applicable towards the undergrad portion of this whole career and people can take that but if you're in EA school I hope that you can at least take what I've done, reflect on it and see if it applies to your own life or not, see if there's something that you would want to change about your own situation or if that makes you feel better about what you're doing if you're also doing flashcards you're also doing Anki I would say to stick with it if that was me because I found that way to be very effective so other than that I really hope to get caught up with some of the videos that have been requested over the last couple of weeks and months it is a lot for me to catch up but I am trying to do more focus on YouTube because this is a community that makes me really happy and I'm really happy to support anyone that's going into A school and looking into the A profession and I hope to just keep up with everyone a lot more in this YouTube community. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me know if there's something that you're thinking of doing now that I've mentioned it. Please let me know what you think of these study tips and do you think they're garbage? <laughs> if you do, you know, I want to know why. So let's talk about this. I have been a student my whole life basically, so I'm very interested in what other things people do and what they found to be effective. So I hope you all have a great week and I hope that I catch you all next time. See you.